I've I've ordered your other book, the the Godmother. So I haven't I haven't read that. So I'm not able to ask you questions on your on your second book. Um, you said that they're not sequences that they you can read one. Hold on, let me just let me just tell you this, Robert. The the, the title is a little bit uh, uh, confusing. A lot of people take the Godmother as being some sort of a mafia reference. Yeah. <laughs> it's so not. does I. <laughs> yeah, it's not. The Godmother refers to Mother Pascalina Leerhardt, who was my godmother for ordination to priesthood. Yes. I asked her to be my godmother. She accepted, and she was my godmother. And for eight years, we were very close friends. Uh, I, I visited her at least, uh, at least twice a month, sometimes more. And th this book is, um, it's an interview with her. It's, I, re I recall exactly what she said about different things yes. uh, and different people. And that's what I put down. I wanted to get it down before I die, before I go to God. I wanted, yes. I wanted these things recorded. I want them out there. Uh, one of the things too, if I may just quickly, with, and I promise to be quickly, I keep saying this is the last thing I'm going to say. <laughs> Do you notice that about me? And it's never true. Anyway, <laughs> one of the things, one of the stories in, in The Godmother, there are vignettes. Right? Yeah. One of the stories was I went to go visit her one time and an Austrian couple had just been there to visit her. People she knew from years before. And they came with some sort of a brochure or a little pamphlet about Pope Paul being having been kidnapped and an imposter put in his position in the Vatican. This that, and the other thing. And she she pulled this from from her from her sleeve and said she said look at this. And I, I looked at her, I was bewildered. I said, I said, Mother Pasqualina, you don't believe that. I mean, surely you don't believe this nonsense. She said, oh, of course not. Of course not, I don't believe it. She said, but I want you to see what's happening to the church. People are willing to believe that because they cannot believe what they're seeing. Yes, yes. Right? They'd rather believe this. They're able to believe that than the reality they don't want to see. Anyway, that's where we're at today. But fear not. Yes. I'm telling you, fear not. I know who wins, and so do you.